hello everybody so in this video we will learn about the estimation of iron 2 positive ions using spectrophotometry in this technique the principle is the absorption spectra which is shown by the complexes which absorbs UV visible radiation due to the splitting of d orbitals uh, due to the ligand field so uh, we will talk about all the details which is done in the experimental section for this ex practical so initially we will take a look about the apparatus required for this experiment here we need an instrument which is UV visible spectrophotometer some glassware like beakers, burette also the weighing balance for the accurate preparation of the solutions some other basic uh, requirement for the experiment the most important part is the UV visible spectrophotometer for this experiment so uh, as the procedure uh, we have to write down uh, different uh, all the details for the experiment such as aim of the experiment then the apparatus required the instrument which we are using here the chemicals for this experiment the iron solution which will be uh, prepared from mohor salt hydroxylamine hydrochloride sodium acetate and sulfuric acid here the first we will uh, uh, check the balance the check the zero of the balance so that we can measure the accurate way of the different samples like we are weighing 0 0.5 Zero 0.5 gram of mohor salt then it should be very accurate then we must dissolve this uh, small amount in, uh, in the small amount of water then we will make it to the final volume so that the standard solution can be made uh, we must make sure that the solution which we are making should be accurate uh, because the whole experiment depends upon the accuracy of the solutions which we are making all the glassware must be clean and ready prior the experiment like we have to make different concentration of solutions different concentration solutions so every uh, so accordingly we have to prepare the glassware this is the UV visible spectrophotometer we will be using for this, this experiment it is a double beam UV visible spectrophotometer in which one qubit uh, will be used for the uh, for the blank and the other will be used for the sample this is the display of the UV visible spectrophotometer we will be having different anal analytical methods and we will be using photometry which is first and the system there is a zero the system will auto uh, firstly we will set the uh, lambda max value where the complex the iron 110 phenanthrolene complex absorbs and it is 508 and the system will automatically set blank and there will be zero absorption initially without any sample so the different uh, chemicals will be added to the iron solution which we have made like sodium acetate 
110 phenethrolene one thing uh, which you, you all uh, keep in mind that 110 phenethrolene uh, needs needs to be uh, warmed up a little bit for complete the solution this is the cuvit here we are adding uh, the iron solution so absorption for blank is set to zero this is the first sample where iron 2 positive is there so you can notice some color in this beaker and some absorbs absorbance also 0.049 this is the second concentration you you may notice some color is intensified this is due to more complex formation in this beaker and also the absorption increased this is the third concentration and it is about 0.16 this is next concentration so we are gradually increasing the concentration and the absorption is also increasing this is the final concentration here the absorption is also increased to 0.237 this these are you can notice a gradual intensification of the color and corresponding increase this is the unknown sample 0.153 which we have made randomly so we need to find the concentration of this sample from absorbance firstly we will plot a calibration plot we will plot the a curve from the known concentrations this is the absorption and concentration graph for known concentrations this is called calibration curve from this we will draw a straight line that is fit linear line for this curve this straight line is the approximate line which is passing through all the dots and we we will write the uh, linear equation for this data which will give us a value of intercept and slope from where Uh, you may notice the unknown concentration is 0.153 and the graph we plotted is based on this values which we we have taken from the experiment so the different volume of the iron to positive ions are converted to their ppm concentration and there is also the absorption for all of these as you may also uh, notice that we plotted uh, all the concentrations against all the concentrations against the absorption uh, again you can see the fit linear graph so we are again going step wise so that uh, you can uh, correlate all the points together this is the linear straight line equation and slope and intercept for this data y is equal to a plus bx y is the absorption here and x is the volume of the iron 2 positive ions which will convert to the concentration from here you can see for unknown absorption is 0.153 and this is y and when we put it into 
uh, this equation linear line linear equation then we get the volume of iron 2 positive sample so the unknown solution contains 1.507 ml of iron 2 positive and we can find the concentration in mppm from this 1.507 ml volume it is it comes up to be 4.822 ppm of iron 2 positive so as a whole uh, we discussed about the uh, how we can estimate any unknown concentration of iron 2 positive using their complex formation with 110 phenanthrolene and that complex when absorbs light in the UV visible region that can be determined by UV visible spectrophotometer which gives us a value of absorption corresponding to the concentration. We plot this data of absorption versus concentration and for it should be linear so that we can use a straight line equation y is equal to mx plus c and from the intercept and slope we can find the unknown we can uh, find the unknown concentration of any sample using its absorption value i hope you understood the whole experiment if any question if you have any question then you may ask in the comment box and uh,